33% down. Shake Shack, though, having a big day following its big earnings, and that stock is acting accordingly to those numbers. It's up 9%. It takes us to our talk of the tape, whether the tech trade is about to make another major move higher in the weeks ahead. Let's ask our panel. Adam Parker, Trivariate Research. Liz Young-Thomas, SoFi, and Brian Levitt of Invesco. Adam's a CNBC contributor. It's good to have everybody here. Uh, Liz, let me ask you first. Um, the price action today I find rather interesting. Um, you know, a lot of the mega caps are, are up, though I just see now, well, Meta's gone negative, uh, NVIDIA is negative, Apple is negative. What should we glean from that, if anything? I mean, first of all, I think this might be an unpopular response, but this close to the election, we've got such a big amount of macro data this week. I think earnings season just hasn't been as much of a story. And unless there's a big surprise coming out of one of these headline companies, we're just trying to find direction in the market. I think the market has taken a pause after having such a stellar year up until this point, waiting to just get to the other side of this really uncertain event. And frankly, waiting for jobs numbers on Friday. We got past GDP today unscathed, and I think that was a positive for the market. But now everybody's just sort of sitting on their hands. You suggest, Adam, that you would market weight the mega set, the mag seven, mag six, what, whatever you want to want to say about it, um, which is not like, you know, there's still such a big part of the S&P 500. Yeah, OK, so I want to be market weight that, that that's fine. But what's your view on what's really at stake this week as we have Alphabet? I think they, you know, they certainly reported better than what some had feared they might. And the stock hadn't done much. But what about now? You know, um, one of the big investment controversies when you talk to institutional investors is, will we see return on the investment from the hyperscalers? Right? A lot of people are doubting uh, that there'll be enough proof cases out of Microsoft's and Meta's spend. And so, you know, after the big move in the summer, you saw that in a lot of my meetings. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Jensen from Media came to New York and said, you guys are crazy. There's a million <laughs> examples. And then stock had that one big day uh, relative to everything else. I, I'm in the camp of there's a huge positive skew toward we're going to get some proof cases here in the next two or three quarters and get another big leg up from this, this group. I don't know if it'll be, you know, tonight at the close, but I think all it's going to take is a large cap company saying, hey, you know what, we're getting better at predicting our customer behavior. We're getting better at predicting our employee behavior. In the past, we would have hired a thousand employees for this. Now, the analytics have picked up and then everyone's going to say, yeah, you know what, my my doubts here have been, um, you know, kind of, um, you know, cured for the, for the time being. So I think it's a pretty positive skew to getting some pretty good case studies, whether it's tonight or if it's, you know, in January earnings. I mean, it's kind of hard to pin. Well, down. I mean, yeah. didn't Alphabet, Brian, sort of give us that yeah. last night, right? And now we hope that Meta and Microsoft continue a story into the rest of, of this week and then in the week's that follow. We do. And, and I'm with Adam on this one. I mean, we we know we've gone from, what, 35 percent earnings growth in these companies down to, you know, high teens uh, earnings growth. So it's a slowing story that the market has certainly assessed. But um, we're starting to see some signs that the that the investment is paying off. Alphabet is a good indicator of that. And I look at it as, you know, these are these are companies that are still going to grow earnings stronger than than the broad market and sentiment sentiment got a little bit weaker here so the setup is fairly good i, I i'm with adam i expect there to be upside in these names do, do, do you think though we're going to revert back to the outperformance uh versus the rest of the market that we had before a lot of that outperformance i would argue if you think about i, I don't think you're going to have the same level of outperformance uh, basically if you think about the end of 23 you had a pretty broad market expecting six rate cuts and we had to price those all out i think the the market now is more aligned with what the federal reserve is ultimately going to do maybe they got out ahead of it but now seems to be more aligned so if we're in a resilient growth environment which i believe we are albeit moderating some rates could come down a bit that should lead to a, a broader market than what we've had in, in 2024.